This is a brief and informal introduction to expander graphs. What is an expander? An expander is a graph that is both sparse and highly connected. And we care because there are a range of applications of expanders to pure mathematics and computer science. So let's be a little more precise on what an expander is. What does it mean to be sparse? It means that there are not too many edges. So we'd often talk about having a fixed bound on the degree of all the vertices, say five. In this case, the cycle graph on the left is clearly sparse. The complete graph in the middle is very dense. And what does expansion mean? We're taking a very strong connectivity property here. We want to require that for any subset of the vertices A, comprising, say, no more than half of the vertices, we take its boundary partial A, then that boundary is relatively large. It has to be at least epsilon times the size of the set A that we're starting with. What is the boundary exactly? It's a set of all vertices that are connected to that set, but not in it. So in this case, A would be the set of black vertices, and the boundary of A, denoted partial A, would be the red vertices. A good way to illustrate expansion is to consider what graphs aren't expanders. So what isn't an expander? Well, pretty much any graph that you could think of and write down isn't going to be an expander. It turns out that giving constructions of expanders is very difficult. But for now, here's a really contrived example of a graph that's not an expander. The two halves of this graph are both, when taken separately, pretty good expanders. But when we consider the graph as a whole, we have very poor expansion, because we could take the set A to be, say, the vertices on the left-hand side, and then this set now has a very, very small boundary, consisting of only a single vertex. So the ratio of expansion is very, very tiny. What is an expander, then? Well, it turns out that almost all regular graphs are expanders. So if you were to pick a random regular graph, it is almost surely going to be an expander. But here is a nice construction of an expander. Note that although it's really simple to describe, showing that this is actually an expander is very difficult and requires the Selberg 3 on 16 theorem, which is a very deep result. Here's another construction. It's in fact the very first construction that was given by Margulis. So is it really that hard to construct expanders? Yes, as far as we can tell, giving constructions has been difficult, even though we know that almost all regular graphs are expanders. So this might seem a little bit contradictory, but a good thing to keep in mind is that, in this sense, expanders are like transcendental numbers. We know that the transcendental numbers account for almost all real numbers, but actually giving a transcendental number and showing that it's transcendental is rather hard. If you like, we humans are too unimaginative and any graph we write down is probably not going to be an expander. Hope you've enjoyed this brief overview and that you're now curious to learn more about expanders.